Hello Aquarius and welcome to Wild Fox Alchemy. If we haven't met already, I am Maria Guyon. I am an intuitive business success coach. I'm a tarot card reader and a green witch. And I'm here to do your business reading from September the 6th to the 12th. So let's get started. We start with doable. This card keeps coming out. The key is within your grasp. This is a lady who has burst through the glass ceiling there and is reaching for the key. What is it that you want? Because I feel very much like the universe is saying yes to it. Let's see what Fiona Horn has to say. She says what you seek is within your grasp. As with all yeses, there are adjustments. Release yourself from a lingering mental prison of fear that you are not enough or that you are not worthy. You have the right key. Do not doubt it. It's time to be grateful for your teachers, even the ones whose lessons you didn't necessarily like. Past lovers, past employers, bullies, cyber stalkers all had lessons to teach you. Incredibly, when you meditate on gratitude for these lessons, the struggles around you dissipate. The key to opening the rest of your life hovers within your grasp. It's yours to use. The girl of doable fearlessly breaks through the glass ceiling and grabs the potent symbol of her getting of wisdom, which is the golden key. Tears of blood are shed, residues of past pains and losses are reflected in the carved face on the entryway above her. And they are now transformed into power and assertiveness. If this card is drawn at a time you are seeking to step up into the next widely acknowledged level of success, whether it be career advancement, passing a test, being accepted into an institute of learning, this card indicates that the answer is yes. There is a ritual here called the open door. And it says, choose a closed doorway that opens away from you in your home. Lick the index finger of your writing hand and name your door with a word representing your goal traced in spit. Now, I'm going to say now, <laughs> you don't need to do that. You could name your door and write on it with chalk. You could put a post-it note on your door with it written, with your word written on there. You could write it in lipstick if you want or eyeliner I don't know just make sure it's washable you could use water moon water would be fabulous but you could do it in water it's not particularly hygienic I don't think in this day and age of, of viruses and stuff to be doing it in spit using incense or a smudge stick fan the smoke around the edges of the door while meditating on what it is you want and then when you are ready open the door and step through Know that what you desire is now possible and happening because you have broken through the glass ceiling. You have navigated your obstacles and you are free to grow and evolve into the next best expression of you. That is a fabulous ritual and I like it, but you know, just <laughs> magic is not necessarily in your bodily fluids. OK, you don't need to do that sort of thing if you don't want to you do whatever you're comfortable with. We've got the Ten of Feathers. We've got transformation, or the death card there. We've got the knight of crystals. And we've got the queen of crystals. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. We started with this brilliant message that whatever it is that you want is within your grasp. The universe is saying yes to you now, Aquarius. Whatever it is that you desire is on its way to you. You have the power to go and get it. And this is a great teaching of the universe, really, that everything is available to us. We only have to go and get it. There's not a shortage. We're brought up with a very big lack mentality, but that lack mentality is, is a load of rubbish, to be honest. There's plenty of everything to go around. We don't make money at the expense of other people. So we have this lack mentality, but we're being told now, whatever it is you want, you just need to go and get it. Just go and get it. And then we start with this ten of feathers, which is all about transformation. It can be about a painful ending. I don't know whether... A snake shedding its skin is painful to it or not. I'm sure it must feel quite uncomfortable or a little bit irritating. But this is about you transforming, letting go of things. Now, it could be that it's something that you are being forced to let go of. Maybe it's the ending of a business. Maybe it's the ending of a product or service. Maybe it's the ending of a client relationship. Maybe it's in your personal life that something is ending. It can stand for betrayal. It could be a staff member that's done the dirty on you or a manager that's done the dirty on you. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments if this resonates. But this is it for you now. It's the end of a cycle and the start of another because we lead straight into the death card. And I love the death card. Change is inevitable. 
endings are inevitable. It's the cycle of life. If we didn't have endings, we wouldn't have new beginnings. And that's where this gets exciting. I always feel very excited when I see this transformation card, this death card, because I know that better things are coming in. It leads into the Knight of Crystals, and this is where we get very excited now, because this is about planning, planning and getting a routine together. This is a, a slow, a slow knight. He's a slow, steady sort of person. He's about endurance and determination. He is a long distance run. He is not a sprinter. But he is a sign that you are well on your way. He is definitely a sign that you are going to progress, albeit maybe not as fast as you would like. But this is a crystals card, which is the sign of material things. So abundance is coming into you. It just may not be quite as fast as you would hope. You just have to endure. You have to be determined and carry on. Giving up is, is the only failure here. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Because I feel like this is a big week for you, actually, Aquarius. I think it's going to be a good one. It leads into the Queen of Crystals at the end. And she is all about calm, prosperity, comfort. She's a very nurturing figure. She contributes to her family. And that's what I feel we're getting here. I feel like something is ended. I've just been told single mom. Single mom. So it could be that you have ended up losing a partner, getting divorced. But it's okay because this card says liberation as a key word. And I feel like that's really vitally important to you, actually, that this is not, this is something that you're free from now. And maybe you wanted to be free from it. Maybe you didn't. <laughs> I don't know. But freedom is coming from it. And all you're being told to do is endure. Keep going. Keep going. Put one foot in front of the other. The camel here has all the resources he needs to be able to keep going. And so do you. And then we lead into this Queen of Crystals where I feel like you are going to be supporting your family. You are going to be prosperous from whatever is happening here. The result is your prosperity and your comfort. You will feel OK. You will be OK, Aquarius. You're going to be OK because the universe has your back here this week. What a great reading. I can't really add any more to that, Aquarius, honestly. It's fabulous. So I'm going to leave it there. Let me know in the comments if this resonated with you. Please do like, share and subscribe. It will help me build my tiny little channel and I appreciate every single person. I celebrate every like, share and subscribe, I promise you, because it means so much to me. And I'm going to see you next time. This is Maria Guyon signing out with Love and Magic Always. Mm -hmm.